Oh, it's reached my penis. Oh, I bet Just, it's not. Oh. <laughs> oh, f Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Hello and welcome back to the Car Throttle channel. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. And this week's episode is sponsored by Autoglim, which means that we're going to take the street car that I paid £590 for and we're going to tart it up. We're going to sell it for profit. We're going to hope for what? Five grand? Six grand. Six grand, or maybe we'll just settle on £995. How about we do that? Now it's currently raining, so we're going to have to go inside, get some tea, wait for the sun to come out, and then we're going to do things in slightly the wrong order. You see, We've got to do the suspension because there's a knock. We've got to do the tyres, but I'm just too excited to do the detailing. Same here, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so let's just do that instead, and then we'll have a really gleaming car, and it'll look awesome on the outside, but we'll still need <laughs> some work. So let's go have some tea, wait for the weather to improve, and then on we go. Ready? Let's do it. Kick it! So the first thing we're going to do, Jack, yeah. is to polar blast the street car. We're going to both blast, aren't we? Let me blast first. I want to blast so hard. Let's. Run and gun. Pow pow. I'm ready to go. So like I said, step one is to polar blast the car, which covers the body in a rich foamy blanket to gently loosen the dirt. It also smells awesome. Well, that's my half. Oh, sorry, that's my sorry. half. There you whoa, go. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Go for it. You might want to go around that way. All right. All right. So don't tell me how to blast, bro. It's looking more and more like a 350Z with every blast. All right, so next step, Jack, is to rinse. Let me just make sure it's working. Do you know what? I actually don't mind, it's quite hot. Okay. <laughs> Do you know what? It's actually lovely. Is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, dripping down my boxes. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's reached my penis. Oh, I bet Just, it's not. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's actually quite pleasant. Oh. Right, now we've done the Polar Blast and rinsed it, it's time to do the Polar Wash. Which, as you've probably guessed, is a cleaner that makes light work of dirt and grime. And again, the smell is lovely. While Jack is doing the other side, I'm going to get my mitt and I'm going to agitate all the dirt. Once the dirt has been agitated, it's then time to rinse. Right, so now that the car has been cleaned, we need to dry it off using this Insta-Dry. So the first thing I need to do Make it nice and wet, proper job, then wring it out and then use it as a, uh, as a chamois really. Next we're going to freshen up this soft top but it's got a lot of crud on it so I'm going to brush it off first. So now we've scrubbed all the loose stuff off it, we're going to use soft top cleaner. Uh, work from the middle towards me, and just spray it and give it a scrub. I think anything that we spill over onto the actual car will just rinse off so it doesn't leave any streaks, stuff like that. You wouldn't have thought it from, like, from looking at it, but the sponge in my hands, you see how much just filth. That's come off the roof? That's come off the roof, yeah. That's rough. It's full of tat. Right, Jack, you've done a sterling job on the roof. That's, That's not really bad, good. is it? That is proper back to black, isn't it? Yeah. What's next? Next, we're going to protect it. Same deal, we just work from the middle towards us. And I think just spray it on. Shall I let you get on with it? Because I probably can't actually reach. You can do this bit down here. <laughs> All right, OK, leave that bit for me. That'll be the best bit. With the spray on roof protection, you can see how effective it is by the way it makes water droplets bead off. Anyway, now it's time to get stuck in with the oily bits. So I'm going to work on the engine. So I've got Auto Glim, engine and machine cleaner. All I've got to do, spray it on, agitate, and then wash it off. And jobs are good. Oh, look at you agitate. You're so good at agitating. With the engine now looking factory fresh, it's time to decloud the headlights using Auto Glim's restoration kit. After which, the plastic trim is transformed from faded grey back to black. The wheels are then cleaned with wheel mousse, which expands for those hard to reach areas. And while the tyres are going to be swapped out, it'd be rude not to apply some tyre gel. Next up, the interior. We've got a lever cleaner and then a lever care balm here. So we'll throw these on it and they should come up looking real nice. We 
are now at the final stages of cleaning the streetcar. So, Jack, we're going to do some ceramic coating. You're going to start with preparation, and then I'm going to finish with ceramic coating. So I'm going to hand the torch over to you, and then prepare. Thank you. And I'll come in and take all the glory. We're going to put this on this cloth, and then we're going to spread it around the panel, and then we're going to flip it over, and then we're going to wipe it off. Are we flipping the car over? Yeah, we flip it over, okay. and then we'll do the underside. All right. Mate, look at you go. Has this given you a newfound respect for car care? Yeah. It's like the second time I've cleaned a car now. <laughs> I'm getting professional at it. I'm doing it right. The roof, oh, don't get me started. It's, it's so average, your job on the roof, that I've put the roof away. <laughs> you put it away because you want to protect it from the elements. It's so <laughs> good. Final stage, ceramic coating. Oh, look at that. It's just enriching a lovely blue colour. That's looking really good, actually. This is going to really pop in pictures, isn't it? Now, I said that we'd probably get 995, 950 for this car, but I reckon with the job we've done, we've got to double it, right? Five grand. At least. Your maths is a bit off, but <laughs> I like what you're saying. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. With the streetcar now looking a million dollars, we'll be back tomorrow to chuck on the new tyres, fix the suspension knock, and then sell the car for a healthy profit. It's going to be as easy as that. Oh, f God. Oh, oh it's uh, Jack. Yeah. I've had more of a look and I'm actually able to start stabbing holes into the actual body of the car. Oh, that's not good. And I'm worried that it's going to be the same on your side. I mean, look at, look at this. What's your side like? This side looks pretty good in comparison to that side. Really? I'm being serious, yeah. Do you want to come have a look at this? You've got screwdriver-sized holes on your side. I've got hand-sized holes over here. I'm joking. Oh, my God. Look at all of this. I know. What? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's where the wheel lining was on, and it just came with it when I took it off. I feel a bit bad now, because I, I bought the car. But when you're on a driveway, there's going to be the arch lining. There's going to be a wheel on. You don't go and take no. the wheel and the arch lining off. But these, these cars are notorious for rusting. I thought it was all right. It's a shame because the outside of it, especially now that we've detailed it, oh my goodness. looks amazing. It's just yeah. when you start digging into that, and you wouldn't know, I guess for MOT as well, it'd be the same thing, wouldn't it? Oh my, I was about to say it's solid. Oh no! Oh no. You know what that means? This car's a write-off. Well, th this isn't even the worst of it. You've seen up there yet? Holy f God, there should be car there. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. This is uh, uneconomical to repair. And I know we said that about my MX-5, but... We spent a whole day detailing We did. Yeah, we did this, did this in the wrong order, didn't we? Yeah. That's the thing though, the car looks like it's, yeah. you know, a grand. Like yeah. 995, we could probably sell this all day long. But underneath, it's, it, we've, we've got to condemn it. We can't, we cannot sell it. We could... If we were unscrupulous, we could cover it up, put the wheel arch lining back yeah. and be done with it. If we were shitty pe uh, shittier people, we could do that. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't feel comfortable selling this to someone like this. Yeah, the original aim was to sell it for profit. Yeah. How much profit are we going to make now? Uh, is a loss profit? I mean, this is, this is worth no more than scrap at the moment. No. As a car, it's worth no more than scrap. I think if we swivel our aim, and what about if we strip it for parts and see how much money we can get then? Yeah. Because the engine, engine and gearbox, 150, maybe 200 pounds. Yeah. Doors, wings, they're all in fairly good nick. The interior's in great nick. You can make more than 590 pounds. I guarantee it. Yeah. Oh God, touch rust. The roof is in great nick. Thank you. <laughs> wheels, wheels are probably worth 100 yeah. quid on them mm. by themselves. And we've got brand new tires on. Yeah. So all in all, currently we're 590, 690, about 670 pounds in, plus the suspension repair. We're probably about 700 pounds in. Who sent Alex to go and buy the car? I was just thinking that same thing. That's bad there as well, isn't it? <laughs> Make it rain. That is a good old pile of, of rust right there. How much would you pay for this? I'll give you 950 pennies. 950 pennies, no deal. I'd take that. <laughs> <laughs> just shows you've got to be careful, guys. 
when you're buying stuff. Yeah, I mean, the long and short of it is, if you want to buy a street car, don't buy a street car. Yeah, that's a good, good way of saying it. Unless you're willing to bring a jack, bring your axle stands, lift the car up, take the wheels off, take the arch lining off, and then have a proper poke around. Come with your screwdriver. When, when the seller opens the door, be there with your screwdriver, all right? <laughs> this is not roadworthy. It didn't have this rust until you gave the money over for it. I'm, <laughs> I'm it, pretty sure. And then it just came yeah. in. <laughs> Maybe that's why he was so keen. 750 to 590, I thought it was my amazing bargaining technique and Mike Brewer being on my side. But apart from that, the car's in great nick, so if anyone wants to buy it, we'll do you a good deal. <laughs> 850? I don't know. No? Okay, cool. How's it taste? Rust tastes, tastes awesome. Have I've... you eaten rust before? Yep, <laughs> and I'm not going to do it again. No, I have. No, yeah, Project MX5. No. I have. I, I have. thought you were stuffed after that. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes to show, we don't get it right every time, do we? We've had a good run. Yeah. Of challenge videos, and now this KA has come along and ruined it. But the funny thing is, we might make even more money now. Yeah. So maybe the car being a complete rock box is a blessing in disguise. I'm really clutching for straws here. <laughs> yeah. That is what's come off the street car, and that's from 10 minutes of poking. Imagine how much worse it is. For the sake of interest, should we have a guess how much rust we think there is? How much weight we think we've stripped? 100 grams. 100 grams. I'll say 120. All right, I'm going to go 500 grams. And this is pure rust. Oh, 570. Oh, wow. 569. Half a kilogram of rust has come from this little street car. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely glorious. Isn't it? <laughs> it's a bag of misery. Yeah, isn't it? we have done well. I have done well. So, yeah, if anyone wants to win this lovely bag <laughs> of rust, then leave a comment below and we'll ship it out. We'll do it one gram, so we'll send out 569 parcels to people. We'll even sign every single bit as well, yeah? A bit of that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah that is pretty horrendous, as is the car. So this bag of rust now concludes what has been a bit of a flipping car failure because instead of making money i've actually lost us money however the car does look really good oh yeah it's been an emotional roller coaster it hasn't really it has so uh thank you again to auto glim for sponsoring the video making the car look great however people don't buy cars because they look great on surface value do they no they don't they buy them because they're not going to fold in half yeah which this one definitely is probably so lesson learned there if you want to buy yourself a street car don't buy a street car <laughs> buy something completely different Sorry, Ethan, you oh, look really disappointed. Oh, God. <laughs> um, and with that, that's now the end of the video. We're going to take it to Jack's, strip it, and then uh, hopefully make even more money than we would have done had we sold it as a motor vehicle. As ever, you can subscribe to the Car Throttle channel by clicking on this link. And to check out more challenge videos, the link is down there. And don't forget that we've got a podcast on Spotify and wherever else you like to listen. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You failed us. <laughs> you failed us. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs>